Hello, and to those of you joining welcome for the first operative. time, welcome to my ongoing quest to get started not from the beginning. This is Aspire 2, and the first video in the All Weapons Unlock Guide, starting with Operation 2, Dead City. Some if you're not sure why we're starting with them. Operation Aspire 2, or you're not quite out. sure how unlocking weapons out works, out check out the link to the overview video the down below. Right period. off the bat, we've got to go through the tunnel in the right to switch to Sooty, Sink as we're going complete. to need Sooty to, to get past the fan on the, on the other side of the trench okay, with a little bit of Espire Continuing through, we're going to slip into the duct and use Espire Instinct to casually walk past the guards into the other set of air ducts. Then is the tutorial for the noisemaker device. And this is going to hand us the RZ Scorpio SMG. Alternatively, in this hidden room to the right, there's another RZ Scorpio SMG, but this one doesn't require you to use your repair tool to disengage the biometric lock. We're not actually going to be unlocking this one, as there are going to be better opportunities Here later on. Duty. At the Unlocked. end of the air ducts is the FL7 Compact SMG, but you don't have to get too attached to it at this point in the run, as there are going to be other opportunities to pick it up later, so if necessary, you can leave it. This is going to give us some opportunities to practice things like one-handed climbing, which are not going to be required at any point in this operation, but are particularly helpful in later operations for unlocking the most weapons in each run. Now, we're going to use a little bit of patience to get past the patrolling guard using the counters for cover as we sneak to the end and disarm the trip mines to get through, still staying low as we move into this next area so that we can disarm the sentry with our repair tool and continue on. Now, if you're That's already carrying a couple sequence. of weapons, you can get up this easily by climbing halfway up the scaffolding and electromagnetically calling the weapon to your hand and putting it on top, allowing you to climb with both hands the whole way. It's a brief jaunt to the end of the hall weapons. before we drop down. Of course, the ladder here is going to be the best practice at one-handed climbing, although as a reminder, again, this is entirely non-essential, as neither of the weapons we've picked up thus far are going to necessarily be accompanying us to the end of the level. So once more, we find ourselves delving back into the air vents, and at the end of these air ducts, there's going to be on the shelf in the dark straight ahead, the Tac-6 shotgun, which is the first weapon we're actually going to care about keeping with us. So, a little bit of instinct is going to get us through to the next room, and a little bit of patience can let us slip by the guards, allowing us to drop at least one of the weapons to deactivate the trip mines and continue on through yet more air ducts. Here at the end of the tunnel, there's going to be some pipes we're going to climb, and again, I've just elected to make sure that we're hanging on to that Tac-6 shotgun. Once you get to the top, you can walk around on the tops of the pipes, so it's not a big deal if you, you feel like you climbed in the wrong area. Once we slip past the drone in the large room and go through the tunnel on our right on the first set of boxes is going to be another FL7M compact SMG and this is the one we're going to be bringing with us to the end of the level which is why you know, the one head climbing was really that important thus far. Disarming the mines and over to the grate. Dropping down we are going to go through to the bathroom and just quickly clear it out, moving on to the next area. With the FL7M Compact SMG being a suppressed weapon, I find it's easiest just to clear out guards as we move along, as you can do so typically without initiating a major firefight. So, after clearing the area, we're going to go through to the next room and throw the lever to deactivate the power grid. Going up the stairs, we are going to deactivate the sentry with our repair tool and go up through the left hallway ducking into the left to switch from Sodi to Cinder. Once you swap Aspire units, 
remember to pick up any weapons that you want to keep with you, especially because if you swap again without doing so, those weapons will be spawned. Now using Cinder, we're going to clear out the various guards on the floor, being mindful of the holographic decoys, as these aren't going to show up the same on your s vision, not being highlighted, and if you interact with them, they're going to call additional strike teams to the area. This will pave the way for our escape later on, and once this area is safe, we're going to go back to the split of the hallways, and we can see in this hallway on the right, there is a breaker that leads to a locked door, which we can short out with Cinder's Tranquilizer. And then at the end, we're going to need Cinder's Strength to lift up that guard and use him on the retinal scanner. We're going to go back to the case box and switch back to Sooty as the unlocked room that we got with Cinder is going to require Sooty to squeeze through. So after we switch back to Sooty, we're going to make sure to pick up all of our weapons and go back to the door we unlock between the halls. And at the back of the room, past the scaffolding, you're going to find the FL Impact Pistol. We can just pop that in our hip holster and continue on back down to the end of the hallway with the retinal scanner. Now, when hacking through one of these systems, any one that requires you to use the repair tool, if you use instinct with Sooty, you can actually lock that node in place without draining much instinct. Now, we're grabbing the MZ-23 rifle from the side room on the right. As the last weapon, we're going to be unlocking as part of this run. So now we have the uh, FL-7M Compact SMG, the MZ-23 rifle and the Taxi Shotgun, and the FL Impact Pistol. So our hands are very much full. You can shoot your way through, back down the hallway, being careful of expended ammunition through the tunnel on the right and up the stairs to complete the mission and unlock all four of these weapons. Now, if you've missed any of these weapons in this video, remember you don't necessarily have to go back and do the whole operation over again. You should be able to do the component mission that has that weapon in it, completing it to get the unlock. Remember to check back as we continue to unlock all of the weapons in the game.